I think I've addressed this in the past, but I wanna really nail this thing on a finer point that the routine that you follow isn't really that important. I mean, it is important, but it's not gonna make or break your success if you have the right routine. Whether or not you're doing split routines versus whole body versus lower body first, upper body first. Should you work out in the morning? What about two-a-days? What about doing something once a week, twice a week? La, 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 all, there's millions of different ways to work out. None of them really matter all that much. And I'll get to the, in a little bit why it might, might not. But there's no way I can know these things. Here's the bottom line. We're, I'm assuming you're building strength and muscle. That's what you want, yes? Okay, there's only two things you gotta worry about. How much tension you're creating a muscle and how much time you're able to create the tension for. Those are your only variables that you have to concern yourself. Everything is just of influence to those two things. If you're not tracking these two things and putting them as a number one priority, you're wasting your time. However, if you're focusing on these things, your success is pretty much guaranteed. So let's say, for example, we start off and we're like, I'm a little weakling, I have a routine, I can only lift 10 pounds for five reps right here. Low tension, low time. So you start off with 10 pounds and you build up the time in which you can do that. You could do this by a stopwatch, you could do it by reps, you can do it counting moon cycles, doesn't matter. Okay, so you get more time and then after you reach a, a good amount of time, you say, okay, that's a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident with this and it really doesn't matter what number you hit, 20 reps, 15 reps, 12 reps, just build it up for a while and then you drop it back down. You say, okay, now I'm at a heavier resistance and my reps drop down and then I build it back up and then heavy and then build, heavy, build, heavy, build. And it's just this cycle. This is all you need to do is this cycle. Heavier, build up the reps. Heavier, build up the reps. Heavier, build up the reps. And then you get to the point where you're doing 100 pounds for 100 reps. You tell me, if you could do 100 pounds for 100 reps, you're not gonna be big, badass, strong as hell and jacked. So this is all you need to focus on. Go set a weight or a resistance, build the time. Set a heavier weight, build the time. And just do this cycle indefinitely. This is your number one, this is the only thing you should care about. All of the details of your routine are, should all come under the idea of how is this gonna help me do this? How is a split routine gonna help me do that? How is a full body routine gonna help me do that? How is supplement X, Y, and Z potentially gonna help me do this? Now there's no way I know these answers for you. You're gonna have to solve this for you because we're all different. You could make this happen easier if you work out in a split routine. You could make it happier but it happen if you do a full body routine. You could make it happen better if you drink nothing but water. I don't know. You are gonna have to find out the details for yourself. But if you filter all of your questions through, how is this going to help me build up my time under tension over time, you'll have your answer on whether or not something's gonna be potentially beneficial. And if you don't know, just try it, because there's no way in hell I'm gonna know. Just try it, find out for yourself. But this is the only thing you should ever worry about in your routine. Build up your time, then build up your resistance. Time resistance, time resistance, time resistance, and that's how you're gonna get your results. Questions below, be fit, live free.